Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Pixel Lab. Today I'm going to talk about a feature that a lot of people don't even know that is there. And uh, if you work in a team environment and you have multiple people working on the same project, this is going to be pretty, uh, pretty interesting for you. So let's check it out. It's under Tools and it's called the Doodle Tool. So let's go ahead and click on Doodle Paint and see what's going on. So it's basically what it uh, sounds like, right? It's a Doodle Tool. So if we go ahead and draw something, you'll notice that we have a doodle object right here. So let's go ahead and check out what we can do with this guy. Well, the really cool thing is under object description, we can go ahead and uh, add any description we want. So right here, we can uh, draw whatever we want. We can say, uh, you know, make this suck less. And then you can see it made in a keyframe right here automatically when we made a uh, doodle, right? So it's gonna stay on here and whenever we want to, it's basically a hold keyframe, whenever we want to, all we have to do is go to our options and hit a new frame. And then it's gonna kind of clear whatever's there. And we can go ahead and do uh, you know, another frame or we can leave it blank, whatever. So then if we scrub over this, you'll see that uh, those doodles stay on the entire time. If we go to our object, uh, you can see that our description stays with it as well. And then when we get to that frame, it'll change and then we can go ahead and add, you know, whatever description uh, we want to put in here. So, um, what the heck is this? So, there you go. Um, the cool thing is you don't actually have to do these doodles, right? Because I don't have a Wacom tablet like I should because I'm supposed to be an artist and whatnot. But I do not. So, uh, this obviously looks terrible. So, the way that I use Doodle is uh, if we go ahead and uh, go ahead and go to Doodle and uh, do add doodle frame. You can actually use this without painting. You can just go ahead and add something in the description like fix this part or the animation looks weird here or we need more you know lighting or shadowing on this part and then when you change hands on this project they can actually literally go through and uh, just scrub through and read all your notes on the project. One quick other thing on doodle object, let's go ahead and make a quick doodle. There are resolution options on here, so you can see it looks pretty fuzzy. If we change this to a higher resolution, you can see if we draw, it's gonna be a lot finer. And then there's also draw smoothly, which will um, make it even smoother. It's kind of like um, anti-aliasing, right? And then if you hold shift and draw, it'll be a perfect line. So there's a couple little things. There's also a doodle eraser, so you can erase stuff if you don't like it. And um, in your doodle paintbrush, you can change the uh, color. So there's a lot of features in here. One cool thing is if you render this actually, you'll notice that it renders with the doodles. So if you want to render out a test uh, kind of animation and give it to somebody else, they'll be able to see your notes with it um, if you're doing doodles. So that is the doodle tool. A lot of people don't even know it's there. If you're kind of collaborating on a project, it might come in handy. I hope that helps guys. I hope you learned something new. Thank you so much for checking out my site. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll talk again soon. Bye everybody.